Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Juan Gomez. I'm the 5G Network Emulations uh, uh, Solution Marketing Lead. And I'm here to talk uh, uh, with uh, J.H. Park. He's an application engineer for 5G. Uh, he has a lot of interaction with customers. So uh, we are launching our protocol uh, and RF solution on 5G. And uh, well, you know, this is the, um, this is the, the next step uh, in our path to, uh, to, uh, to 5G. We come from the LT with a, a UXM E7515A and we are launching today. So what we are trying to do is to help our customers with the debugging activities for the 5G, both in sub-6 gigahertz and in millimeter wave. Um, the key elements is the, is the uh, scripting, uh, as well as the you know, text ex execution, changing parameters in a, in a very fast way. And I would like to ask JH, so JH, uh, you know, you deal with customers all the time with our solution for protocol 5G. So what is the, the strength of this solution? What do you think? Okay, thank you, Juan. Um, uh, this is the, uh, our uh, latest 5G protocol uh, scripting solution. Um, the customer really like the 5G uh, scripting very easily done by the software. Uh, they can testing in their PC and emulating uh, their device and our protocol stack in the real time. They can do uh, build their own script uh, very easily from drag and drop from the software. And also, uh, we have an inbuilt um, real-time state machine inside the software. Uh, we can configure by the error layer one and two and three in the software very easily. And customer can testing uh, this real-time very quickly on, on the fly with the, our the hardware and software together. Thank you, DH. Very nice. So um, we provide a one-stop solution for 5G network emulation testing together with the LTE as well. So for more information, please visit our uh, keysight.com. Thank you very much. I'm Bruce Dyson from Keysight, and I'm here at Mobile World Congress. We're here to introduce our new T5510S cellular plus Wi-Fi network emulation solution. With this system, we're showing the ability to solve problems that manufacturers and operators have with some of the new complex devices that have come on the market. Devices that are using multiple modes of operation and sometimes simultaneously. So we have introduced a solution with Ixia to show how we can simultaneously test both Wi-Fi and cellular to solve some of the complex interoperability challenges. I'm going to hand you off to my colleague here and he'll explain some of the more interesting details of this solution. Hi, uh, my name is Sitarama Penimetsa with Keysight here at Mobile World Congress. Uh, as Bruce mentioned, uh, the solution that we are uh, demonstrating here uh, is a solution that can test uh, Wi-Fi and cellular. Uh, most devices that can do Wi-Fi and cellular together can be tested with this particular solution here. We have a device in a test that does cellular backhaul uh, and Wi-Fi access. So we have the Keysight UXM system that can emulate a cellular base station. And uh, the device in a test would connect uh, to the cellular base station and then it would put out a Wi-Fi hotspot network and the black box in the back is the Ixia box that can emulate lots and lots of Wi-Fi stations that would then connect with the device in a test. And we are surrounding the device in a test with both uh, Keysight and Ixia test equipment. And now we can run uh, layer one to layer seven application traffic to measure the performance of the device in a test. So for example, this will also can be used very well for uh, in-car Wi-Fi as a great example. If you have in-car Wi-Fi where you uh, uh, backhaul over LTE, and have Wi-Fi access in, in the car, we can use the system to uh, basically test in-car Wi-Fi as well and measure, if you want to stream, let's say, a Netflix video uh, over your in-car Wi-Fi system, you can use this uh, test system to test end-to-end -end measurement of the performance of the, of the system. One additional point that makes this a very powerful system is that we have put both the Ixia wave test system and the Keysight UXM under the control of a integrated test automation platform. This integrates the results, it sequences the tests, 
and allows the user to reconfigure and write new test cases as needed to provide a flexible, pow powerful test platform for a variety of uh, different conditions. Uh, that's our demonstration. We want to thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to the Mobile World Congress uh, Americas 2017. This is a key site booth. Uh, we are going to talk about the 5G network emulation solutions and also about the LTE. And uh, to do that, we have uh, using a user, uh, a key user of our uh, UXM uh, for LTE is um, a company called Novatel Wireless. And I'm here with Sam Gran, uh, who is a software lead. And he's going to explain how they use the UXM uh, with their product. Hey, Sangram, welcome to the booth. Hey, thank you, Juan. Thanks for having us over at the Keysight booth. So we are Novatel Wireless, and we make uh, mobile hotspots, mobile devices. And uh, our current device is a CAT10 LTE device. Uh, we are working on a prototype which we have right here. This is our, our CAT18 LTE mobile hotspot. So what we are demonstrating out here is uh, a CAT18 uh, call. Um, so as you see that we have, we're reaching 1.2 gigabits per second. We're using three carriers, using 256 QAM, 20 megahertz per carrier. We're doing 4x4 MIMO, and we are getting 1.2 gigabits per second using 12 streams. And uh, we're using the Keysight box, um, the, the UXM 7515A. And uh, with this box, it has support for 256 and 4x4 MIMO. And with Keysight, we're able to achieve these speeds. So, um, you know, uh, thank you, Juan and Keysight, for partnering with us to help us with this demo. It's our pleasure. Um, so besides the, uh, the LTE, a gigabit, we can do also category M, NBIoT. Uh, so we are really ready to attend the needs of the, uh, the LTE industry. Uh, welcome to the Mobile World Congress. Uh, my name is Jean Dassonville and I am happy to present you the Keysight Front Hall Monitoring Solution. So as you know, uh, with the evolution of the radio access network to 5G, the architecture of the front hall and the technologies are changing with the emergence of new technologies such as EC3. And what we observe is that the front hall has a very significant influence on the operation of the network and on the quality of the service. As a result, what we are showing here is a solution that can tap into the front hall and extract some information that will help understand the operation of the front hall, monitor the quality of service, what you see here, and eventually provide some cross-domain insight into the front hall operation. So what do we mean by cross-domain? What we see is that the front hall is at the intersection between the wireless and the network, and therefore some issues that may happen at the higher layer, for example, a call being dropped, may have the root cause at the lower layer, for example, an RF interference. And what we demonstrate here is a solution that can navigate through this different domain, either the higher layer monitoring domain, or the protocol domain, or the physical domain. And all these different measurements are provided using a, a platform that will transparently monitor the network. Hello, my name is Gabriel Kiriacescu. I'm a director of product management uh, with Ixia Solutions Group, part of Keysight Technologies. I'm here at Mobile World Congress, uh, Americas, talking to you about Gigabit LT RAN test solutions and uh, cellular IoT packet core test solutions. Uh, both of them done uh, using our iXload wireless test product. With Gigabit LTE as a very important stepping stone towards 5G speeds, uh, we are today introducing very advanced capabilities for high-scale subscriber emulation for E-Node B testing. Uh, validating the performance and capacity of the macro E-Node Bs using thousands of emulated subscribers and gigabits of throughput is a very important task that service providers and networks, network equipment manufacturers everywhere need to achieve prior to having a successful rollout and even after a rollout during the entire product lifecycle as software upgrades are being delivered by the vendors. 
For cellular IoT testing, um, our market leading Perfect Storm hardware platform is capable of emulating hundreds of, hundreds of thousands to millions of such cellular IoT devices, which is very important given the expected growth in, in the cellular IoT space. We can emulate both CAT M1 devices as narrowband IoT devices, and the purpose of the testing is to subject a newly introduced packet core element called the CSGN to high volumes of stateful layer 1 to layer 7 signaling and data traffic. Um, in conclusion, I am very happy uh, to be part of Ixia at Mobile World Congress uh, because Ixia, together with Keysight, um, is the only company in the world that's capable of providing um, wireless testing from A to Z. Uh, starting with device testing and drive testing and moving on to radio access network testing and ending with uh, packet core and even cloud testing. Thank you. I'm Alex Shore from Keysight Technologies, part of the wireless network testing team. I'm here at Mobile World Congress Americas and I'd like to share with you a couple of our new product offerings from the network uh, testing team, also known as uh, Nemo Test Products. As the industry moves towards uh, 5G, there is the introduction of higher, much higher frequency bands. Currently today, there are no uh, 5G devices out there in order to test these uh, 5G networks or uh, test networks. What we have done is integrate uh, an existing Nemo outdoor product, which is a PC-based uh, drive test application tool, with the Keysight Philfox 50 gigahertz uh, spectrum analyzer. Through this setup, uh, a customer or user will be able to start testing the propagation models at the millimeter wave frequency spans. Um, what we have here is a setup uh, at 28 gigahertz, which is a common band used in the United States. Uh, we have one uh, transmitter uh, emulating the network and one receiver connected to Nemo Outdoor PC application receiving the 28, uh, mag 28 gigahertz signal. And through our tool, we are recording these uh, measurements into the NEMO file format, which is an optimized format for drive test measurements. In addition to the 5G measurements, this tool has the capability to record uh, measurements from LTE UEs as well. So these tests can be done together concurrently uh, in a live network. And this is uh, one of our latest offering from uh, the NEMO ne network testing tool. Um, another setup that we have we have a broad portfolio of uh, data measurement as well as data analytics tool. And we wanted to be able to bind these products together through a cloud prod portal in order to um, increase efficiencies in the workflow of uh, drive tests. Uh, and we call this Nemo Cloud. Uh, through the cloud interface, we are able to configure, set up, uh, start the measurements of these field units and uh, this setup supports both the PC-based tool as well as our Android-based tool. After the measurements are taken in the field, uh, the log files are automatically uploaded to the cloud where they can be sent to our analytics engine to generate uh, reports. Uh, this uh, is what we call the end-to-end -end workflow. And we believe that through this setup, it does have uh, efficiencies for our customers such that it saves time and reduces error in the, in the field. Uh, this is a box where we are able to run autonomous units uh, uh, in a rigid enclosure so that it's well protected. There are four UEs in here, and in this, in this case, you could potentially run a benchmarking uh, scenario across four different operators at the same time. And this is our end-to-end -end, uh, solution. Thank you for uh, joining me at Mobile World Congress. For more information, uh, please visit keysight.com find nemo. Thank you.